Hey guys, it's Core Ross and Welcome to Switch News. Today we're going to break down the Cares Legion today because this, to me, is the biggest mystery in Rainbow Six Siege right now other than maybe who DMS is going to end up being. And it's also a mystery that's given us pretty much no information so far. So the Cares logo showed up on the new Lair map and in the wiki online they're called the Cares Legion. I don't know if that's actually their official like full name. I don't know where the Legion part has actually come from but I've gone with that idea because it sounds cool so the cares legion as far as we know they are demis's private army or such and up until recently we had no idea if they'd actually shown up yet and then we got the new story comic which does have someone with a cares legion patch on their arm and they also have a white mask a very distinctive white mask now there was another one of these guys showed up in the cartoon as well but we didn't get to see a cares logo at the time but now would be confirmed that, that person was also part of the cares legion and then there's the mythology around the Cares name itself as they're goddesses of violent death. And interestingly, they don't actually kill anybody, but they do feast on the bodies of people that do die from violent deaths. And Damus has made a bioweapon which causes people to fight to the death in extremely violent ways. So it would seem to match up quite well with the mythology. And going with Deep Freeze's Battle Pass, which adds in a little bit of lore, that whole viral and biological element still seems to be very much present with Damus's plan. However, the big thing that doesn't fit for me when it comes to the Cares is that they are goddesses in mythology. And if they're taking a lot of the mythology here and bringing it over to Siege, I would expect this to be a squad of badass females going around kicking ass. And that doesn't seem to fit with Damus's MO at all. I don't really see him being a guy who is particularly wanting female operators. He seems like an older dude, and I think he's a bit more kind of traditional, and I haven't seen a single female combat operator on his team at all so far. Now, there is non-combatants on his team that are female. He has a doctor, for instance, on Lair. We hear her audio logs on the map, but it seems like there's no combat operators that are female as of yet, and we've definitely seen a lot of Damus's bad guys getting wiped out, and they always seem to be dudes. But then, unfortunately, that's kind of it. There's not really much else to go on right now. The layer map introduced the cares. We've now had confirmation that we've seen at least two of them, but really that's kind of been it. So we can now jump into conclusion and kind of bring together what we have. So first of all, we've got people who are wearing white masks. And considering Rainbow Six Siege's last villains specifically were called white masks and went around with white masks on, I'm kind of thinking it's a bit of an interesting choice to have a new villain that also has white masks. So I think these guys probably are directly linked to that terrorist organization and have been brought over by DMS. He's probably picked up a few of the survivors and they've continued on and just kept the imagery of the masks in their arsenal. Otherwise, kind of a weird choice to have white masks and bring it over. It also could be because DMS has a fascination with masks. Maybe he was behind the whole white mask thing to begin with as well. And then I love Kudos' idea that these guys might actually be like a dark rainbow and I would actually extend onto that. I'd love them to be like the wish.com Rainbow Six so that basically they'd have like carbon copies of the Siege gadget. So you can imagine a bandit battery wield an operator going around. And what you could do is then change the AI playlist so that instead of facing Team Rainbow operators, you would actually be facing the CARES operators who would have knockoff versions of Siege gadgets. And that way you're actually having like, you know, basically just like having the terrorist hunt, you're having a version of the game where you are actually fighting the bad guys from the game and then going back to the mythology i think the cares name is a pretty decent name for these guys and of course working with damus all seems to match up quite well and i'd also have no issue with them all end up being females and being goddesses of violent death just like the mythology i think it'd be perfectly fine and it would be a nice little contrast to damus but i would say whether they're females or males i would actually love them to have personalities and names make them actual operators in Damus's team and overall give them a little bit more weight because at the moment we've seen two of them and both of them have died so they haven't really been particularly the best of villains so far but they are living up to the mythology of them not actually killing anyone so i guess they have that going for them and then finally my guess here is right now the cares are relatively flat with detail we don't know much about them I'm hoping them being introduced now means that they'll actually show up in a more significant way with a CGI trailer at the 6th Invitational. I also assume that the 6th Invitational cinematic will be a continuation of the story with Damus and not the end. It's not like they're going to 
find DMS and take him out and that's the end of the story and then move on to the next one. I assume this will be years, maybe even decades long story if they decide to keep with it. And if the Cares and Demas are going to be around for a long time, I wouldn't mind obviously flushing out Demas's character, which I assume they will do. And then I wouldn't mind if they add in a bunch of Cares characters, like a mirror image of Team Rainbow, that are the bad guys with their own gadgets and their own code names and a little bit of personality behind them. And then of course add them to the AI playlist so then we actually find them, gives them their own like unique voice lines and stuff and make them a bit more interesting to the point of where they would be a very good replacement someday for the white masks. And even I would hope that maybe the AI playlist can be changed so that it'd be like your five rainbow operators on attack going up against say 10 of a cares operators on defense. And I would think that would be pretty sweet to actually have those kind of battles play out with your AI playlist in the future. But anyway guys, that's what we currently know about the Cares Legion. I would expect to find out more about these guys or girls in the 6th Invitational Cinematic that will be hitting in February. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.